Hi, Chris McClune here with Fire Apparatus and Emergency Equipment here today at the Waterers Headquarters in South St. Paul, Minnesota. I'm standing between two pieces of history here. Behind me is a turn of the century gasoline engine driven pump and in front of me is a Waterers CS pump. We're here today to talk about the Waterers five steps for a quality fire pump. It starts at engineering, moves to casting, then machining, assembly, and finally testing. We're also going to pay a visit to the Waterers Customer Service Center, so take a walk with me now as we tour the factory floor. Waterers began exclusively engineering and designing fire pumps in 1929. Prior to 1929, Waterers built the entire apparatus. By focusing its effort on just fire pumps, Waterers provided the highest quality fire pumps with many features that were the first in the industry such as chain drive transmissions, flame-plated impellers, and separable impeller shafts. Ninety years later, Waterers continues to design, redesign, and engineer solutions that make firefighting safer and more efficient. Waterers purchases castings from foundries in the USA, and in its factory machines the castings and other raw stock material into gears, impeller shafts, coupling shafts, and other parts that make up a fire pump. Why is this important? Waterers can control its quality internally, is not subject to international issues that may create delays in castings and parts, and can provide you answers on orders by visiting the factory located in the same building as its offices, and it keeps jobs for hardworking people. To deliver quality fire pumps, Waterers continually invests in its people and machinery. Recent purchases of robots, machining centers, and critical measurement devices assures you that Waterers pumps are made to strict standards, standards that are required to meet and usually exceed NFPA standards. Waterers assembly of fire pumps takes place in several different areas based on the type of pump. Large pump assembly is a typical assembly line where castings and pump components meet to become a finished product. At each station, more components and accessories are added until reaching the end of the line. Small pump assembly is done completely by a single person from start to finish. After pumps are complete, they are all moved to the pump testing area. Once assembly is complete, Pumps are put through rigorous tests to make sure they live up to the Waterers pledge that all its products will perform reliably and safely. That is why its static tests each pump to make sure there aren't any casting defects or leaks. Waterers then performs acceptance tests to make sure the pump performs to the level required by NFPA and certifies those tests for each pump. Waterus is well known for its customer service. With a combined total of over 170 years of customer service and technical support experience, Waterus assures that over 95% of the parts orders received ship within two business days and on the same day for rush orders. Customer service also maintains an order accuracy of 99% for all parts orders. All Waterus pumps are tracked by serial number, which ensures accurate pump records and parts orders. Its records go all the way back to the turn of the 20th century. Well, as you can see, we're in shipping and receiving now, and this is the end of the line for these pumps here at Waterers. They're going to be shipped out shortly. We've taken you through the five-step process Waterers uses uh, to build a quality fire pump, and we've also stopped by customer service where you've been able to see some of their customer service representatives in action. Don't forget that when you call Waterers for any kind of support, you're calling the headquarters here in South St. Paul, Minnesota. So until next time, have a good one. This has been Chris McClune with Fire Apparatus and Emergency Equipment, and stay safe.